Hi guys doing welcome to Indoor Hydroponics. I'm John, your Indoor Hydroponic Test Dummy. Welcome inside my grow room, guys. Uh, we are into May. The grow room is still up and running. Got lots of fun stuff going on still in here. It's actually, things are starting to really get grown out. I've got spring starts. Uh, started all over the room type of thing um, but a couple of months ago I started out or no it's only been about a month maybe two months uh, I, I gave a video about uh, how to plant squash in a floating raft system okay and it's been really cool uh, you can grow squash indoors under lights uh, using a uh, floating raft method however there is one drawback that I've noticed with this particular grow and that's when you do two plants in one system something fascinating happens and I don't know if it happens in every grow probably not but it did in this one where one plant took off became the dominant plant and it took all the nutrients and everything from the other plant so I've got really one amazing plant going and then one that's struggling man because the dominant one is just taking it all in and uh, it's it's really cool I've been trimming it up been maintaining it been topping it off done a couple of nutrient changes on it um, running it at about 800 ppm general hydroponics three parts um, floor series okay and uh, keeping the pH somewhere around 6.0 and it's just been absolutely fantastic in addition to that first video I shot a video on how to uh, pollinate these things and so I left one on here just for fun and it is the one that I pollinated in the video and I wanted to let it grow out a little bit but we've had some pretty decent harvests in here with some squash I've gotten I don't know not a ton of it but gotten some squash in here off of it so I think one of the methods for improving this system would be to grow them in separate systems okay smaller uh, applications but one tub per plant um, and I think it would be absolutely fantastic because then the two plants aren't competing against each other for what's going on in the, in the reservoir, okay? So let's come in, take a look. I'll show you the struggling plant, the good plant, and let's harvest that uh, squash that we pollinated uh, a couple weeks ago. All right, guys, so here is the system. And again, these plants are starting to get sort of old for squash, okay? And it looks like I need to do a little nutrient top up, but you can really see here here is the one plant and it's really struggling I mean it's really struggling it just cannot keep up with the big plant and uh, I mean we've got a little, little squash on there uh, he'll be fun to eat up but uh, really what I wanted to show you here is this big monster that I have been pruning uh, pruning the old leaves back and uh, it's just it's just blowing up it's it's starting to trail yeah and uh, it's really awesome. It's got this one gigantic squash on it, right? There. there. Well, I just broke a leaf, but it's okay. So let me uh, pick this thing off, and uh, we'll uh, wrap this video up. All right, guys, as most of my videos are, they're kind of experimental grows just to kind of see if, if, if I can grow it. And then maybe if you want to give it a try or give it a try or if you've already done it leave me some comments below let me know how your experience was but I thought this was a cool idea I still think it's a cool idea I'm probably going to tear the app the system out right now was it worth the money and the time and the grow probably not but it was fun anyway and that's why I do these uh, these grows and these videos because it's a hobby man I'm not looking to feed the family uh, a complete meal from this room here man it's just a supplement it's fun it's hobby it gives them something to do in the winter all right so I am going to probably take this application out because I want to make some room for some strawberries okay some some grow slab strawberries that is going to be really fun I want them under this particular light here and I want to grow those out during the summer in this room um, using a recirculating grow slab system. So that's going to be fun. We'll leap this sucker up right here. Uh, again, this is the one, I swear, that we pollinated in the video. I'll put the links to how to start this setup and how to pollinate these things at the bottom of this video. Thanks for watching this quick update. Just wanted to kind of give you guys an update and let you know that I think this was a pretty successful grow. In hindsight, I would do them in separate systems, okay? All right, so if I do this again, I've learned something. 
As always, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment when you can, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.